For the first time in three years, evidence abducted U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is still alive. The new video described to CNN includes a time reference to December 14, 2013. It is the first proof of life since a series of tapes released in 2010 and 2011 by the Taliban. Release me, please. I'm begging you. Bring me home, please. Unlike earlier recordings, however, these new images show Bergdahl in declining health, says a U.S. military official with knowledge of it. Bergdahl was captured in June 2009 and is believed to be held by the Taliban-aligned Haqqani network inside Pakistan. Today, yellow ribbons line the streets of his hometown, Haley, Idaho, where his family has been fighting for his return ever since. A father does not leave his son alone on the battlefield. I do not live here. I live in Afghanistan. My cell phone is set on Afghan time. My weather is Afghan weather. I might be standing here, but I am living vicariously through my son. I will not leave you on the battlefield, Bo. In 2011, his father made this impassioned video appeal direct to his son's kidnappers. It's past time for Bo and the others to come home. To the nation of Pakistan, our family would wish to convey our compassionate respect. U.S. officials say his safe return is a top priority. U.S. Central Command keeps a constant reminder of him in its headquarters in Florida. Our hearts today are with the Bergdahl family. Using our military, intelligence, and diplomatic tools, the United States is continuing its strong efforts to secure Sergeant Bergdahl's safe release. Bergdahl is the only American soldier currently in captivity. Over time, you're going to deteriorate physically. Um, you're going to deteriorate psychologically because it's, it's very isolating. Um, so you, you just hold on and, and hope that it's going to come to an end eventually. David Rode, captured and held for eight months by the Taliban in 2008 while working for the New York Times, stays in touch with Bergdahl's family. You decide essentially it's your job to survive, to stay alive, and just wait and hope that there's some kind of resolution to the case. And it's absolutely incredible that Bo Bergdahl has stayed alive through these four and a half years. Now, the family of Sergeant Bergdahl released a statement today, and I want to read part of it. Uh, as we have said many times over the past four and a half years, they say, we request his captors to release him safely so that our only son can be reunited with his mother and father. And then a message to Bo. Bo, if you see this, continue to remain strong through patience. Your endurance will carry you to the finish line.